Hi, this is Dr. Karens. Welcome to week five of Human Resource Issues. Uh, this week we had our mid-course survey uh, and I appreciate the feedback. I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, some of the comments and I just want to say that uh, this is the fourth time I've delivered this course uh, for Point Loma and, and actually I developed the course for them. And each time uh, one of my strengths is I'm a learner. Uh, and it's also uh, sometimes a, an issue. It can be a weakness uh, because uh, learners uh, uh, continuously are tweaking and learning things. And, and that's one of the reasons I really enjoy the course because I learn from you. So no matter uh, w the fact that I delivered this uh, curriculum before, uh, there's always uh, new learnings and new insights that each uh, group of students and individuals uh, bring. So I, so I enjoy that a lot. Uh, also, uh, I continue to tweak the course, and so your feedback is important to me. And there were uh, three things I'd like to just kind of highlight. Uh, one is that uh, there were a couple comments regarding uh, some of the instructions maybe not being as clear. And uh, with that, uh, I want to make sure that you know that if there is something that is not clear, uh, please ask me. Uh, send me an email, text me. I've got my virtual office hours every Tuesday. Uh, so uh, don't uh, wonder uh, what the requirements are. Uh, if something is not really clear, uh, just reach out to me. Uh, also, I know there is a, a lot of work. And yes, it is a graduate course. Uh, and with that, I've been looking at ways to uh, make sure you get the uh, education that you need uh, and the learning from this uh, at the same time, hopefully giving you assignments that uh, are not busy work, but but you actually learn from them. And so that's actually led me to uh, giving you options when it comes to questions. Uh, believe it or not, the number of questions that you see there, uh, the first course, I asked every single one of those of each student. And, uh, and then uh, as I continue to think about that, I thought, well, you know, that's a lot of work. Let me give you some choices uh, with it. But there's uh, different aspects and Part of the piece of critical thinking and a Socratic method, which I like to use, uh, is one of asking uh, questions of you. So I, uh, that's one of the reasons there. But also think about this, that while uh, you're giving your responses to those, uh, every single person is doing so. And so when I have a class of, say, 10 to 15 students, that means I'm reading 15 of those uh, questions and responses whether it be to your reflections or the discussion or the case studies. So every time I uh, get a, uh, assignments back, I say to myself, why did I uh, include so many things? Uh, because I have to read all of that. So I know you don't care about that. Uh, but I just want to let you know that the work does come back to me uh, as well. And so far, we're trying to strike a balance between uh, making sure you, you get some good understanding uh, from the material. So thus... Uh, it may seem uh, like a lot of work, but hopefully uh, it's also pragmatic. And we'll talk about the pragmatic portion uh, as we come into uh, this particular week, week five. And then another element is uh, the faith integration pieces uh, that it appears in a variety of different places. And, and that's thoughtful and that's purposeful because uh, one is that uh, we tend to sometimes compartmentalize our lives. Uh, and what I want you to realize is that uh, when you go to work, uh, or wherever you are, uh, to be thinking about the impact that uh, you are uh, serving God in those places uh, as well. And so the more that you have uh, time to think about what is the impact uh, of uh, your uh, faith having on these various elements, uh, the more thoughtful that is, uh, then uh, hopefully it'll just come as second nature to you. Uh, so this week you're going to be looking at a purpose-driven life uh, lecture, uh, and I've taken some of that from Rick Warren's book, The Purpose Driven Life. Uh, and then also I have uh, have a lecture called What Do You Want to Do When You Graduate? And so uh, this week you're going to be looking at training and development and performance management chapters 9 and 10. And with that, uh, this is an opportunity for you to kind of step back and look at the text material through the lens of what's in it for me. Uh, so that's going to be one of the elements you're going to be looking at. And then also designing a performance appraisal. And, uh, and I, I say look at a, a small, medium, or large-sized company. Just only one of those. And you can use your own company. Uh, look at that and reflect on that and decide whether or not uh, you want to, based on the information uh, in this week's lectures, 
uh, to change anything. Uh, some of those companies that you're working for, you may have experience and, and want to talk about what's there and, and maybe redesign it. So think about those aspects from a, a practical standpoint. And then lastly, uh, this week you had a chance to look at the Anita Hill uh, hearings and then, you know, as, as uh, things would happen, we have uh, Donald Trump, a uh, presidential candidate, and things that uh, he said. Uh, just a, a rather fresh, although he said those 11 weeks, 11 years ago, uh, how are they today? So kind of fast forward uh, and looking at that when it comes to uh, sexual harassment. So again, uh, designing the class and the material to be very applicable to things uh, that you're facing uh, today. So uh, with that, uh, uh, let me know if there's any questions or concerns that you have. Uh, this is, again, a fun learning experience for me. Uh, and as I mentioned, I learn uh, through uh, your eyes as well. And then one last thing is that there is a diversity uh, paradigm tool that you could take. And, and again, it's an opportunity for you to know that this is the lens that you use uh, when confronted uh, with situations in work. And uh, diversity consciousness, which some of this arises out of, is that uh, we need to be consciously aware of the differences uh, in the workplace. So have some fun uh, uh, as you go through uh, this material. When I say have fun, uh, I mean just uh, looking at it and exploring uh, it as well. Again, virtual office hours every Tuesday from noon to 1, uh, West Coast time. So if you want to reach out to me, you can there or again via email or uh, via uh, text uh, or give me a call. All right, with that, thank you and have a great week.